This is Pruning Grapevines, the Renewal Zone, Grape Video 22. The Renewal Zone. This is a very important concept when pruning grapevines. And it's so important and it's so useful to the pruner that we are going to spend this whole video just on this one concept so that we make it clear what the Renewal Zone is. Let's start with the definition. It is the place on a mature grapevine. And by that we mean this does not apply to newly planted vines. This does not apply to vines that are being trained in their first and second years, but only to mature grapevines with an established training system. And if you'll recall, we talked about training systems in numerous videos, grape videos 6 through 19, different kinds of training systems. So when vines are mature and large enough so that they have been established with a permanent training system, this concept of the renewal zone applies. And what is it? It's the place where the fruiting buds to produce next year's crop are located. So let's read it through. The renewal zone is the place on a mature grapevine with an established training system where the fruiting buds to produce next year's crop are located. Now we're going to look at some specific training systems, about four of them, and show you by example what we mean by this concept. Well before we do that I need to tell you that the renewal zone has a couple of synonyms in the literature. Sometimes the renewal zone is called the renewal region in some literature and sometimes it's called the head or head region and that's true especially when the vine training system involves long cane pruning. So we'll show you that in the upcoming examples about the use of the term head as opposed to renewal zone, but they all mean the same thing and the same definition applies. Okay, here we go. We're going to show you four training systems. We're going to start with the midwire cordon training system. And at the bottom of the screen here, you can see that this is from Grape Video 7, the midwire cordon training system. We're not going to say that on every slide, but every slide will be marked to show you where we took these examples from in various videos that you already have available so if you want to go back and study the training systems in detail. So starting out, here is a schematic of the midwire cordon training system. And along that cordon we have spurs, fruiting spurs, with two nodes on each spur in this example and from those spurs shoots grow and produce the crop. So the fruiting capacity of that vine with this training system is born along that cordon. And so for that reason we can circle in yellow here the region or the zone, if you will, of the vine where we're going to find the fruiting buds for next year's crop. And we call it the renewal zone. And there's the fruit that is born close to that renewal zone with this picture of the Barbera grape on midwire cordon training. Let's take another training system, the Guillot training system. In this case, it is a long cane pruned training system. And we get the long canes from a central area in the vine space. Here we call it the renewal zone. But this is an example of a type of training system with long cane pruning where we could actually call this the head. The two names are interchangeable but the head or head region 
is the same as the renewal zone just so we have our nomenclature straight so when we have the GEO training system we use long cane pruning to produce the crop and there we mark in purple what the long canes were and from those long canes those green shoots that have now become canes let's imagine that are born but where do those canes originate back in that head or renewal zone also in that renewal zone there are two renewal spurs as we've already discussed and we've marked the canes that developed from those renewal spurs in red and blue and we've specifically marked the cane that is further out from the middle of the vine space in red on both sides and the one that's back and down lower on that spur in blue so let's see how we utilize those now to go through the pruning process for next year's crop there up on the top you can see a blue slash that's the first pruning cut and that's limiting the length of the cane that we're going to use for fruiting next year there's the next pruning cut we take and we spur back that other cane that developed back in the head region that follows some of our basic skills that we talked about putting a spur behind a long fruiting cane the third pruning cut is illustrated by another blue slash removes last year's fruiting cane and everything with it and when we do that and we make those three cuts it will look like this I'm a little sloppy in my graphics so pardon me about that but that's what it looks like with just three cuts and if we repeat that on the other side of the vine we have a cut to limit the length of the fruiting cane there on the red cane we spur the blue cane to make sure that we keep a spur back in the vine for the future and then a third cut eliminates the previous year's fruiting cane and everything with it and we're left with this now all we have to do is move those canes down to where they should be on the fruiting wire there we are and we have now recreated the GEO training system and if we go back to the original picture I showed you this even though it's a little messy in its graphics looks like that and where did we do all of that pruning pretty much in the head region or the renewal zone that is the place where the fruiting buds for the next year's crop is found I hope this is making sense to you we can call that the head or the renewal zone that's so important as you'll see when we move on now umbrella niffin training is another long cane pruning system and this very very old picture that I drew years ago shows the head or head region with a red slash circle and you can see the canes the fruiting canes originate from that area and we have placed renewal spurs at various locations below those fruiting canes well here is a chardonnay vine that was trained umbrella niffin and if we put the fruiting canes on that vine they look something like this so we know if that's a long cane system training system with umbrella niffin that this is the renewal zone 
This is where we're going to look for fruiting canes the following year. And it looks sort of like this, umbrella niffin vine schematic. Only in this case, we only had two fruiting canes instead of four. Let's go on to another training system. This is a schematic of the Scott Henry training system. And it has two fruiting wires, an upper fruiting wire and a lower fruiting wire. And it's possible to manage Scott Henry in several ways. If we manage Scott Henry with cordons along those fruiting wires and just spur them in the upcoming season, well then the renewal zone would be like the red oval shown here. But it's also possible to prune back to canes that are in the center of the vine and instead of having a cordon with spurs you could just lay out long canes. Well then in concept the renewal zone is just back into the center of the vine something like this. So the renewal zone even for the same training system can vary in concept depending upon whether you're using long cane pruning or a cordon and spur pruning and you need to know that when you approach the vine to prune it. There is a picture of Riesling vines that have been trained Scott Henry and if we look to a vine on the left we can see that there's with that yellow line a cordon and there's cordons on the lower fruiting wire too so in concept the renewal zone for these vines will be along that cordon and look more or less something like this one last training system the fan training system. And the fan training system, as the name suggests, fans out canes from the ground area, from right at the ground level, up onto the trellis like this. And so the renewal zone would look like this red oval. However, sometimes when the trunks remain healthy, we use relatively short lengths of trunks with this training system as shown now in blue. And off the top of those short sections of trunks, we can get fruiting canes as shown in green. So that the renewal zone for this training system becomes not just the area near the ground, but those short sections of trunk also something like this. So you need to know when you're pruning a mature grapevine what is the strategy for pruning it? Are we talking about what training system? Are we talking about long cane pruning or spurs along a cordon? And then you'll have a very very well-defined concept of what the renewal zone is for that training system. So once again, the renewal zone can be defined as the place on a mature grapevine with an established training system where the fruiting buds to produce next year's crop are located. We're going to use this on grape video 28 when we actually show you how to prune a mature grapevine. For now, just hold this concept in your mind that the renewal zone is as we've reviewed here and it's going to be so helpful to you when you start pruning grapevines. That's it. Thank you for your attention and as always, happy grape growing.